That is Jigsaw and Sky High here on Liverpool Live with the excellent Ellis Moyer before that Love Resurrection. A hey, very good morning to you. Tuesday it is, the May, May the 3rd. I'm Roy Bassnett. And in this hour of the show, are you thinking about, oh my God, life's awful, I can't get my kids to sleep? Fear not. We have somebody who's going to rush to your rescue in the form of Katie Jane Crosby, who joins me in the studio this morning. Good morning, Katie. Good morning, Roy. Thank you for having me on. This, you know, first of all, you've got the most calming voice. Oh, I mean, thank we've, you. we've spoken many times and yeah you've got this lovely calming voice it comes as no surprise to me that you are a sleep specialist i suppose it's probably the voice to have isn't it for that profession absolutely <laughs> but anyway listen it's no good me saying that because we need to know a little bit more about sure. you katie jane crosby you are known as the international baby whisperer yes i am indeed and you are a published author as well i certainly am other things I, this list of things that describe <laughs> you pediatric nurse all of this i, I can't keep up with it so yeah. in your own words then tell me a little bit about yourself so i am um, a maternity nurse that's working directly post birth with parents well from birth to three months that's really focusing on the early days of routine and um, my feeding specialist side comes into that whether breast or bottle I'm also a behaviour specialist I am a Montessori teacher which was oh, right what's that so Montessori I've teacher I've never read Montessori no, I've, never, I've never read any it's of these amazing. books so, um, so it's the lady Maria Montessori and um she had it's the Montessori method and it very much so I should have said I thought that was a gag then and then oh, you just no, realized Montessori honestly. is is a person who's an author sorry Do you on. know honestly it I was upset when I started out 29 years ago with all my training and everything I um I really did the Montessori teaching sign not because I wanted to be um you know be a Montessori teacher but it was more to bring the whole method and approach and the psychology side into my work and the method is just very much geared around which was not in it was not like that in the normal education mm. um side of things years ago you know we very much were taught weren't we you know we all looked ahead at the teacher and everyone was taught the same way and not as individuals well the, Mar the Mont maria montessori method was very much taking the child as a whole and um, bringing out what's their best their best of each child let that develop naturally the whole approach was amazing and and, and the, they just the whole approach was amazing for on the literacy and the maths and I thought I need to you know train do my training in this anyway now in the primary schools this is how they teach the reading that you sound right. out every word and connect and fuse them together which we very much years ago just memory read didn't we and yeah so I could go on about it for hours it's it's fascinating me method and it, it is the, for something we've got a yeah. degree crossover today because uh, Les Stewart who's coming up in a short while is our education expert yeah ah, that kind of approach it, yeah. as I say I mean he'll be familiar with Montessori yeah uh, and, and I you know it's one of them things that I've mentioned many times when I've been on the show I hated school and I I think that the reason I hated school is because of that. Well, it definitely. wasn't so much the social interaction with yeah. the kids. It was the it was the boringness of it. And to me, I'm not saying that the subjects weren't without merit. Mm. It's just that I couldn't be taught in the method they were, so as true. I say, watch and learn. And that's it. It doesn't work just like that. Just literally, you know, just copy what's on the board or, you know, or memory read, you know, the, the reading. And, and this is how, like, years ago, then people would write the words incorrectly because they're just learning them from from memory you know they're not getting being told how to fuse the sounds together that forms the word so that's how we'd always like write things incorrectly where now the way it's taught which is very similar to the montessori well it is uh, you know the, very the same as the montessori way children now are, are, are writing the words how they know that it phonetically sounds yeah, it's, yeah. it's been a big shift mm. in it over the decades really mm. but the other side of what i do which is oh gosh i'm like just obsessed with the sleep side of everything that i do really and what it brings is my pediatric sleep consultancy side and that's very much four years to um four months to six years six right. years okay um and i very much in the earlier days 29 years ago when i was maternity nursing all over the world within families for the first six six weeks really post-birth i 
and I was obsessed with reading and and then I went back to one of my clients who eight months after me being there for the initial six weeks and the baby having this beautiful routine and doing a big stretch of a night she contacted me and said it all gone up the wall so obviously I had all the qualifications and knowledge to know how to um do the sleep side but I, that's when I probably started tailoring my method and and once I went back to her she, it was just word of mouth then and, mm. and and then I got more obsessed and wanted to do yeah. more on the psychology side and and learn more about the sleep and mm. it's just such a so great subject. What, what, what do you offer as a service so, to people who are having trouble getting their kids to sleep? So I have a couple of different options I didn't up until about eight years ago I only ever opted um, offered the residential option where I would come in for 96 hours if your child was of nap age and four nights if they were not of nap age. I would literally come in and do one foul swoop, imp um, implement my whole method and approach. I'd very much take the child as a whole. This is really important. People know this, you know, and it's why I don't just have downloadable pr plans because mm. every child is different and through the whole method and approach being implemented, they will transition differently. So how can you have right. a one size fits all? I don't understand when there are companies out there that do that. It's, you know, no child is the same and no child will transition through changes the same. So anyway, I um, only ever offered my residential. And then I thought, this is ridiculous. You know, not everyone has the funds to, you know, it, it's a lot of, no matter where you are in, in life, you know, most or, you know, work off the budget or yeah. plan, don't they? And I thought, this is so unfair. There's so many people, you know, contacting me and I need to offer this in, in, in different options. So I then wrote my sleep training program and which I'm so proud of. And I have clients internationally on this and it runs once a month. I've won an award for it and there is no hand on heart program out there like mm. it that gives the level of support I do. The support's really important if they're coming to me. It's because they've usually mm. tried anything they can think of yeah. to bring the sleep into their child's routine. But, you know, they've not. So my program is amazing. It's um, It runs over four days because all my results, no matter what, are the co they're complete each child in four mm. days because mm. it is my whole method and approach. And, and then we start night one is often, it runs four nights, four days so we can implement the naps if they're nap age because you can't just, you can't just change and mm. implement the sleep of a night and have erratic days because it would, it just, you have to balance the child as a whole. Right. And I do treat them as a whole. So the younger babies, I very much make sure everything is where it needs to be on the run up to the four days, starting working with my clients to make sure they're even down to their feeds and their milk feeds and their yeah. solid feeds are perfectly where they need to be for good digestion. So there, no, there's no discomfort. Um, if it's the older children, I will work with them on the behavior side because that always comes in into it and right. um, when the sleep deprivation going on so I really do take them as a whole and and we bring the changes with every part of the day and night sorry I've gone off on a bit of a tangent there so it's four nights and four days and you get your initial consultation right. which is a good hour to an hour and a half I also specialize in twins and triplets as well mm. um and we literally I'm on support from 7 p.m to 7 a.m. each of the four nights. Right. Literally sat waiting as my so text come in on WhatsApp. Sleep. Yeah. Honestly, all yeah. he's awake now, so I'm guiding them as they implement my method we've gone over on the, because right. um, I've tailored the plan and to their child. you've had good results, you've had great results. Well, I'm this. full, full 100% success rate wow, yeah nice. well yeah, listen there's a, there's a lot of questions i yeah, need to ask you actually and i'm probably going to be a bit self indulgent <laughs> okay. at some point but you know even though you do specialize in youngsters i'm, yeah. not, I'm not that old i'm still like a kid anyway. you're still young at heart Roy. i'm young at heart yeah. and so right more of that coming up in a short while mm -hmm. we have it with us in the studio and don't forget if you've got a question that you would like to put to katie the international baby whisperer then you can drop us an email if you like Amazing. it's studio at liverpool live radio.com studio at liverpool live radio.com you got kids they won't sleep. Might be able to help you out here on Liverpool Live today.
That is Erasure, Breath of Life, here on Liverpool Live. It is just coming up to half past 11. Katie Jane Crosby is with me, the international baby whisperer. Hello, hello. Uh, the, the most obvious question to ask there is that, you know, well, let's come back to kids. And I am going to ask something about myself, my own personal self indulgence yeah. in a short while. That the the behaviour of a child, I would have thought, yes. pos- is going to be obviously linked to how well that child has slept. Um, and you always get the impression, like, oh, kids, but they, they're like they're like dogs. They sleep all day and stuff like that. And obviously, they need to, so, 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 I've oversimplified it there. That's yeah, is, sure. is my nature to do these things. Yeah, of course. So, what, is, is, am I right in assuming that the behaviour is relevant to the sleep? Oh wow! I mean, it, when every child needs, especially in those younger years, a certain amount of sleep for for their mm. age. And and I'll have clients come who have cut out the naps thinking, which it does sound a little bit, you would think this would be the logical, you know, thought. Yeah. Um, if you cut the naps out, oh my gosh, they'll just sleep all night. They'll be exhausted. Yeah, yeah. But it doesn't, it has the adverse effect. Um, so babies are definitely, you know, sleep affects all age. Mm. All behaviours really of all different ages, but in different ways. If there's lack of sleep, what's needed for their age, it definitely will with the babies affect, you know, their appetite. Well, right. and and the, the older children as well. It will affect, you're not going to see the true them because they're going to be mardy. But with the, t- say, two, 18 months, two plus to six years it comes out in the behaviour always. I mean, you know, it just because they feel it's not their fault. They're exhausted. And I always say to my client, imagine how exhausted you feel and you know why. You yeah. can't blame your child. They're exhausted, but they've got no idea why, why they are, they're short tempered or, mm. you know, it's coming out in different ways and you're, you don't know how to deal with that. So it escalates worse. And, yeah. and this is why. The behaviour is a real big part of what I do parallel to bring in the, the sleep um, mm. implementation of the sleep as well. Because right. like I said before, it's not, no good just fixing one part of it. Everything yeah, has to work a as a thing. sync together. Well, what does what your, your book, The International, it's called, it's called oh. well, what, what does the book focus so on? So that actually, so my main book it has not been finished um written yet and um i've picked that up and down probably for about three years and then i get writer's block and this is how my children's book came about because i'd picked up my main book that i'm writing um during covid and thought and i was like oh i just can't do this today i can't Mm. you know put me in front of two thousand people you know key speaking i'll I'm great for to put it down on paper so i just thought i'll write it i'll write a children's book about sleep and, yeah. and, you know, this lovely story. So it's called Lizzie's Best Sleep Ever. <laughs> and, um, I have got a brand new website being built at the moment, even though my, my long term one sleep training by Katie Jane. And so you can contact me via social media to buy it at the International Baby Whisper on Facebook and Instagram or. It's actually on Amazon as well, um, right. since it's been published and it's called Lizzie's Best Sleep Ever. It's actually a gorgeous story. Um, around one of my children, mm. Lizzie, who's my middle child. She's 18 now. And, um, it's obviously of her, the, the, my illustrator, Helen Bridge from Crosby. Oh my gosh. She has done an amazing job. She, um, you know, I got all the photos of Lizzie from when she was around this younger age. And it's just the way she's done it is amazing. So, and it just really is a typical story of where most of my clients are at mm. when they come to me. You know, they're right. re- laying with them till they fall asleep or there all night or retaking them back throughout the night. And it's just a lovely little story. And it almost through the story as it unfolds, you know, it's kind of letting them know the importance of sleep and. Yeah. And that, and it's gorgeous. It's a lovely mm. book. Oh, wow. And I'll yeah. be writing a behaviour one as well. Mm. Uh, I've got a couple that are going to okay. be in the series. Well, what, what we're going to do with you, unfortunately, mm. we're out of time, but what Sorry. we're going to do with you, Katie, yes. is we're going to get you in every couple of weeks. Amazing. And obviously this week has been like an introduction to Absolutely, you, so people know yeah. a little bit about you and what you do in the books and all of that kind of stuff. But we are going to be looking at some like practical things Definitely. over the next few weeks that people can do in order to assist and maybe, you know, get themselves off. I've got to ask myself, yes. personally, yeah. I feel like I can go to bed of a night time, I think, and I, I, I try to be a creature of habit yeah. when it comes to sleeping. So I'll go to bed at, say, 10 o'clock, and I'll get up at 7. I try yeah. to be rigid with that, even on weekends when I've got a hangover. Um, <laughs> and yet some, some of those nights are better than others. Why? 
Do you know what? There's so much. You know, I'm obviously not specialised in adult sleep, but it's all got. It all works off the you know similar principle. It's just obviously your approaches are different, but on the adult side of it. it so many things can factor in you know we're all guilty of having you, you know using blue screen blue light aren't we like looking with your, our devices looking at your phone before you go to phone, bed tv um so ipad why, 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 why would that gosh sleep? it's just absolutely can keep the brain stimulated for several hours after even really? switching off from watching that device it's it's one of the biggest contributors, really. And so I always say to my clients for their children, and the same would be for adults, you know, you definitely want to make sure you're not watching any form of blue light yeah. device, any form of device, TV, you know, iPad, phone, a good right. 45 minutes to an hour before so you are going you do to in bed. The, in that 45 minute period. Well, just before like bed. if it was me, I had to be put my aromatherapy oils on right, okay. a little bit of chill like you know or get into med meditation is a really right. i found in the last year i've okay. really started getting into that which i find really helps because considering what i do mm. i do, do not have i probably survive on about six hours sleep but that works for me everyone's different oh, right. I, I couldn't do that. and i bounce out of bed to feel refreshed in that but you know, that's not for everyone, but I still have to, mm. I wouldn't even have that if I didn't try and now I do make myself try and go and wind down and, and also, mm. you know, don't be drinking 10 cups of coffee the two hours before that's, going that's to bed well, or yeah. loads of caffeine and chocolate and mm. yeah, yeah, so many things, but just nurture yourself and getting into, it's easier said than done, isn't it? When we're an adult, but mm. even if you can get half of the week, good. Yeah. Right. And sometimes if you wake up at the, you know, if you miss that window, that can affect your whole night's sleep. You go beyond mm. overtired yeah, yeah, or... Yeah, 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 I know what you mean, yeah. you probably just got many things going on, Roy. A busy well, mind. I think so. And everything. Busy doing nothing. <laughs> you probably just don't relax, do you, <laughs> at all? All right, listen, Katie, lovely. Thank, Thank you, you so for much for coming in. We'll Thank catch you so up again much. in a couple of weeks. Amazing, time. perfect. People want, to, people want to check out your website? Where did it yeah. go? Yeah, so it is um, the... Sorry... The international baby whisperer.com or sleep training by Katie Jane and social media. Instagram is the international baby whisperer and so is Facebook, the international Brilliant. baby whisperer. Just send me a message. Yeah. Brilliant. No problem. Thank, Thank you, you very so much. much. That's our Katie.